You don't need to go to a surgeon, just come to Jessica Myers and I'll fix it up. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, it's your girl Jess and Joey. Hi. So today's video is how to do a dewy skin look on acne prone skin. So as you can see, she's got some mountains. <laughs> That came up yesterday, but... <laughs> Do you have any on the other side or no? No. This, oh, good. this is just some scarring. scratches and stuff. Wow. From you? No, Bella. Oh, okay. I don't scratch my own face. Nah. Fine, do. So we're gonna do a dewy look and I feel like this is gonna be perfect for anyone who feels like you need to put on a lot of products to have that dewy look when really it's actually quite simple and you can totally attain it. So let's get to the video, shall we? I'm going to be using my hands and I'm just going to be placing it on the high points of her face. The key here is you don't want to place it anywhere where there's actually acne or scarring. So I'm purposely not placing it around here. We don't want to highlight that area. Use your finger to blend it out. Fingers are the best tool because it heats up really quickly and it just ends up looking super effortless. I'm going in with the Danessa Micros Velvet, uh, Illuminating Velvet in Goddess, this is literally a beautiful gold shade. Now for this look, I am purposely using my fingers and I know that I said don't put anything dewy, but this is gonna be our contour, bronzer. You know what I mean? So that way, and then we're doing the same on this side. I'm bringing it a bit higher because we want her to look a bit lifted and I wanna avoid to just blend it and we're blending it up. And I know it looks crazy, but trust the process. So now I'm going in with some foundation on this stippling brush and I'm actually not gonna put a lot of foundation on because you never need, you don't never need, you don't need a lot of foundation. Even if you have acne prone skin, you don't need a lot. Okay, there's little tricks that I'm gonna show you. So make sure to stay to the end of the video because I've got some tips that I use on my celebrity client. Did I just flick your eye? A little bit. That's okay. So foundation is on. So now I'm going in with this Bobbi Brown Concealer Palette. So when we look around here, you can still see a bit of acne scarring. So I'm going in with a little flat brush or found like fluffy brush. And I'm just placing that on her pimples to give it more coverage. The reason I don't like to do this before is because that's what foundation is for. Foundation is meant to cover up. So whatever it doesn't cover up, you go in with your concealer to cover that up because if you apply too much foundation on you're actually just going to cake it on and it's going to look super bad very cakey and we want to avoid that i'm just going to put a bit of concealer under her eyes now as well another trick especially if you have dry eyes you don't want to place your concealer directly on your eyes you want to place them where the hollows are and then we blend up does that hurt when i do that no i feel nothing sometimes i feel like it's so rough if you think that's rough, imagine if I try and do it on you, I'll break the brush. So we have to get you to do my makeup one day. No, that'd be so funny. Yeah. Oh, oh. I wouldn't even know what it's that. Literally. And I'm going to show you the look I want to. Oh my gosh, I'm really complicated with the eyeliner issue because I can't do that. I can't, I, I can, but not fantastic. I don't think you can even do a great eyeliner. I don't really. think I can. I can't even barely do it on myself. <laughs> so I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow again. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to pack on the liquid before I apply any powders. Now I'm going in with this Mecca Max blush. It is so cute, honestly, and it comes on really nicely. So I'm going to get you to turn it that way. I'm going to show you how I'm applying it. I'm not going to apply it where her cheeks blush area is. I want to apply it up here. like that so when you look straight see how her face looks so much more lifted on this side than on that side crazy now because i want this to be super easy for you guys i'm using my finger and i'm going to start blending that in i personally find your finger so this is my little secret this is the illuminating veil by Danessa micros in light now it is light but the key to this is you get a little amount i got way too much but that's okay and you want to get the smallest dot little dot on her nose i don't even know if you can see that dot in the middle now i love putting highlighter just there because it really kind of gives you that nice um lifted nose effect which i like so it's like a surgery but not even really 
You don't need to go to a surgeon, just come to Jessica Myers and I'll fix it up. <laughs> Side, I'm putting two dots there and two dots there. Three, actually I lied. And just there, now we're gonna blend it out with my finger. This side, I'm bringing it down, but not where her pimples are. See the finger, what it does? Look at that, look at that. Oh! Apply a bit of powder under her eyes. I'm gonna do her eyes and we'll be right back. So now I'm going in with the Huda Beauty palette. I actually really like this palette. I'm going in with this, what is one? And I just like it for a dewy, bronzy look. So I'm just putting that a little bit on her cheeks. And now I'm going in with Maldives and I'm just very lightly applying that all over her face. Now the trick to kind of a glowy face is, look this way, is I go around here and I bring it down. So it's like an S. And I know not a lot of people do that, but it actually gives the nicest sheen, especially when you take photos. Okay guys, this is the final result. The last touches is I do go back in. Last time with the Charlotte Silver Rondelo, this time just a little bit. And I know I said I don't put powder on top of, I mean liquid on top of powder, but if it's a really small amount, you can get away with it. I like to just put it on the points where I really want to accentuate the dew. Look at that. Thank you guys so much for watching my beautiful queens. Keep slaying and subscribe. And if you want any other videos or you want me to do more videos on my gorgeous sister with acne prone skin, leave me a comment down below and I will make sure to accommodate. Thank you all again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.